Page parameters can be referred to from top level and nested data views and be used by multiple data views. To reduce complexity even more, you can directly select Studio Pro 9.18 is here and comes with a long list of improvements and new features on top of being the next medium term support release, meaning it will be supported with fixes and patches until the next MTS or LTS release. Let's dive in. I'm proud to announce the addition of 10 new members of the Most Valuable Professional Program. The MVP program awards the most active and knowledgeable developers in the community with a special status exclusive access, and the tools and support they need to make an even bigger impact on the community and at our customers. We look forward to working together on growing the Mendix community, both in size and capability around the world. Read the announcement blog to see who were selected and why they earned the title of MVP. We're all racing to get things done faster, and 9.18 is doubling down on performance improvements to make Studio Pro faster, a lot faster. Finding where a document is used and duplicating documents is up to 12 times faster than in Mendix 8, making the experience a lot smoother and more enjoyable. For example, switching tabs is now lightning fast, as well as the app security window. Tables have also received the speed boost. You'll notice this when configuring REST services, enumerations, and other places where tables are used. What else? Starting up Studio Pro without a network connection, the app selector, memory leak fixes so Studio Pro keeps running smoothly, native ARM CPU support so it runs faster in parallels on new Macs like the M1 and on the Surface Pro X from Microsoft. This might just be the best Studio Pro experience yet. But don't take my word for it. Download 9.18 and check it out for yourself. This release comes with a new Page Explorer tool. The Page Explorer makes page building simpler and more powerful by displaying your page structure as a tree view. This provides a quick and clear overview of your page structure. You can also use it to easily add or move widgets by dragging and dropping and copy and pasting. You can even open the widget's properties. We believe the biggest value is for the design mode because the Page Explorer gives it the often needed control. You can find the Page Explorer next to the App Explorer on the left. If it's not active yet, you can activate it in the View menu. We greatly improved our page modeling language by adding support for multiple page parameters. This makes it much easier to use multiple objects on a page that does not have an association. You can now pass multiple arguments when opening a page, just like you're used to with microflows and nanoflows. This makes it simpler, faster, and it keeps your domain model cleaner. It works very much like you're used to, with the addition that you can now add multiple top-level data views, each connected to a different parameter. Page parameters can be referred to from top-level and nested data views and be used by multiple data views. To reduce complexity even more, you can directly select associations of a page parameter, reducing the need for an additional data view just to be able to follow the association. Page parameters are created automatically when you select an entity from a context data source of a data view. Or you can define the parameters of a page at page level directly, whichever you prefer. Check out the documentation for more details. We're excited to launch a completely new way of connecting your apps. Mendix Business Events can be used to inform applications about important events in your organization in real time without creating a tight dependency between your applications. The full explanation of business events is too long for this video, so I recommend reading the detailed explanation in the release blog. I'll highlight the most important features here. Developers can add events that are relevant to the organization and the domain models of their apps. A business event service defines what events an app publishes. Other apps can subscribe to these events. Developers can use a microflow to define which action needs to be taken when an event is received. Events are delivered reliably in near real time to all subscribed apps by the event broker. The event broker ensures that all the events are delivered, including to apps that are unavailable when the event is sent. A free event broker is provided for apps running on the free cluster. To purchase a production event broker for use with your licensed apps, you can contact your account manager or CSM. Validation Assist is the latest feature in the Mendix Assist family. Validation rules are conditions that should be satisfied before an object is committed. There are different ways to set up data validations in Mendix. Currently, building data validations in microflows is a manual and repetitive task. Validation Assist helps developers build validation microflows in a more automated way. 
using pre-built expressions. The main features of the validation assist are as follows. It generates a list of checks for all members, which data type can be empty. For example, when a customer's name is not filled in on a form. A pre-filled dialog box with microflow and validation properties, extracting validations as submicroflows, calling an existing validation submicroflow in a new validation microflow, and auto-generation of the validation microflow. Try out Validation Assist and let us know what you think. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on menix.com slash blog or read the release notes on docs.menix.com. Download Studio Pro 9.18 at marketplace.menix.com to use all these new features right now. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you didn't, well, hit the dislike button. Either way, we'll know if you want to see more. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.